Thank you, dear friends. I am to call Kretu Sokoli. In today's math class, solve lesson 10. This means that this is the 10th lesson that we are doing in SOS. So, we have produced already 9 videos in SOS. This 10th class, we are asked, find n such that m plus root 3 into 1 minus root 3 raised to the power 2 is equal to 6 minus 2 root 3. Let us solve it. Watch this video to the end. It's not going to take your time. Within three or four minutes, we shall be done with this video. Alright, by solution to this question, I am given that m plus root 3 is multiplying 1 minus root 3 raised to the power 2 and it is equal to 6 minus 2 root 3. That is the question that I am given. I want you to look very well. From the left hand side, you can see this place. I can start from there, okay? And that means 1 minus root 3 raised to the power 2. I can write it as 1 minus root 3 into 1 minus root 3. That is what it means. By raising it to power 2, I can express it into two times. Then I can now open the brackets. We want to see what this can result so that we replace it there and we'll be able to solve and get the right answer. Alright. So 1 times 1 will give me 1. 1 times uh, minus root 3 will give me minus root 3. Minus root 3 times 1 will give me minus root 3. Also, minus root 3 times minus root 3 will give me just plus 3. You can now see that 1 plus 3 will give me 4. Okay? And the minus root 3 minus root 3 will give me minus 2 root 3. You see this? This is the result from working on 1 minus root 3 raised to the power 2. I am going to use it to replace this place. And that becomes, in the question, m plus root 3 into, having worked with this, I got this. So I'm now going to write 4 minus 2 root 3. Okay, I have now replaced 1 minus root 3 raised to the power 2. Which what? 4 minus 2 root 3. So it is now equal to 6 minus 2 root 3. Beautiful. Now, looking at this question, our interest is to get n. I want you to see that from the left hand side, I will divide both sides with the 4 minus 2 root 3. I will divide both sides with the 4 minus 2 root 3 in order to get away with this bracket. Therefore, I will now have 4 plus root 3 into, sorry, m plus root 3 into 4 minus 2 root 3 everything divided by 4 minus 2 root 3 then by the right hand side I will still have 6 minus 2 root 3 then also divided by 4 minus 2 root 3 alright this is what I have now I am dividing both sides by 4 minus 2 root 3 see with me that I can now cancel out 4 minus 2 root 3 both at the numerator and at the denominator Alright, left with me by the left hand side is m plus root 3, which is now equal to 6 minus 2 root 3 all over 4 minus 2 root 3. That is what I have. See also that I can factor out what is common at the numerator here by the right hand side, as well as what is common at the denominator. Therefore, I will now have 4 m plus root 3 equal to, and the numerator by the right hand side, 2 is common. I write that now, 2 into 3 minus root 3. Okay, and at the denominator, 2 is also common. I will now write 2 into 2 minus root 3. Alright, now, still by the right hand side, I can now cancel out 2. So, when that is done, what is now left is m plus root 3 by the left hand side and by the right hand side I have 3 minus root 3 all over 2 minus root 3 because I have cancelled out the 2 that I factored at both at the numerator and at the denominator. Now, the next thing I will do here is to rationalize the right hand side. And when that happens, I'll have m plus root 3 
is equal to 3 minus root 3 all over 2 minus root 3. Rationalizing it, I will conjugate the denominator, which will now be 2 plus root 3 all over 2 plus root 3. So, rationalization is taking place now. I will now have n plus root 3 equal to multiplying the numerator, 3 times 2 will give me 6, and 3 times root 3 will give me 3 root 3. Then, minus 3 times 2 is going to give me minus 2 root 3. Also, minus 3 times plus 3 will give me minus 3. Beautiful. And at the denominator, I will simply apply difference of two squares. And that means 2 times 2 will give me 4. And minus root 3 times plus root 3 is going to give me just minus 3. Now, you can see at the denominator also that 4 minus 3 is 1. And anything divided by 1 is that. Like if I have 5 over 1, it is the same thing as 5. Meaning that at the numerator, what I have is what will be left by the right hand side. Alright. Therefore, m plus root 3 is going to be at the numerator. 6 minus 3 will now be 3. Then, 3 root 3 minus 2 root 3 will simply give me root 3. Okay, and the denominator is 1. I have said that. I will now collect like terms. Therefore, m at the left hand side will now be equal to 3 plus root 3. Taking this root 3 from the left to the right hand side, it becomes minus root 3. See also that root 3 minus root 3 will be 0. So two of them cancels out, giving us 0. And we are left with the m equal to 3. This is our final answer and that is what we are required to find and we should find the value of m. So the value of m in that given sort question is equal to 3. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Like I promise you that this is not going to be long. Give me a thumbs up and if this is your first time of watching my videos, please do subscribe. God bless you. Sí